Hey, it's Austin again. I put out a short video last week of how to install the QuantView NinjaTrader workspace templates, uh, but I've had a request on to go a little bit more in depth on how to do it. So I'm gonna go step by step how to get the QuantView NinjaTrader workspace templates into your NinjaTrader system starting from scratch. So if we go to my screen, this is just a custom workspace that I use every once in a while to test some stuff. So if I click the workspace button here, we can see that I don't have any of the QuantView NinjaTrader workspaces installed. These are all just custom things for different ways that I uh, test algorithms throughout the day. Um, so I don't have the tight band or the wide band um, setups or the the workspaces in my NinjaTrader. So how do we get those into your NinjaTrader? Well, let's go to Discord first. This is our Discord server. If you scroll all the way down, you can see the Ninja Training channel. If you click on that, it'll open up. Uh, we'll have some information here on standard uh, QRenko settings, as well as how to install the NinjaTrader toolkit. Um, the Ninja Trader files themselves, QRenko settings, and then this link down here is the Ninja Trader workspaces. So if you click on that, it's going to open up a Google Drive link and it's going to have two different folders in it. One is the broadband setup and one is the tight band setup. Um, if you want one or the other, you can click into those. Uh, if you want them both, you can click the down carrot here and you can hit download and it will zip it up into a zip file and it'll be done here in just a second. There we go. So it asked me where I wanna put them. I'm gonna put them here and then I'm going to go to my downloads and I've got two of them here, but I'm going to take one and I'm going to extract it. Maybe we'll pick the right one, perfect. So it's got a folder inside here. Let's go into that folder and then look, we'll have both of those folders onto your computer. So how do we get them into your NinjaTrader? We're gonna open up one of these folders and it's gonna have these XML files in there. We're gonna select all of them and then right click and copy. Yours might look different than mine depending on what version of Windows you're using, but just click copy. Next place we're gonna go is documents. Ninja Trader 8, and then the workspaces folder, and this is where all of your Ninja Trader workspaces are saved. So, what you want to do is you want to right click again and hit paste, and it's going to paste all of those inside of this folder. So, the next step is to close down your Ninja Trader program and then reopen it. So, you want to restart it, and I'll be back as soon as I get done with that. Okay, so we're back in NinjaTrader. I have it restarted. Um, so if we click the workspaces button here, we can see that all of those different workspaces that we pasted into that folder are now inside your NinjaTrader program. So to switch to them, all you have to do is click on them. So I'm gonna select NQ here. It's going to open. And then we have the NQ chart uh, with Rinko settings based on our our best guess, which is also off of the trading view workspaces. I uh, kind of ported it over to NinjaTrader to get the closest that we could to that. So this would be in queue. If you want to switch to another one, you just open up your control center, hit that workspaces drop down again, and then you can select whichever one you want from there. So let's select ES. It's going to close out of the other one, and then it's going to open up a new chart that is your ES chart. Um, say you want to change something, I'm going to make this smaller so I can get back to my control panel here, but say you want to change something, you don't like how something is set up. Um, so you can make your change however you want to, and then you click this workspaces drop down. You can either save over the template here, the, the, the one that you downloaded by clicking save or you can click save as, and you can uh, change the name of it into something custom that you'll know what it is. Uh, so if you're not a member of QuantView and you would like to use these workspaces in your trading, 
Uh, you can go to quantview.io and you can sign up for now a 14-day free trial, absolutely free.